hi welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Laura hi hello welcome today I'm kind of I'm bummed out I'm not gonna lie and it's a totally melodramatic reason um, my lights up above one of them is on the verge of death because I left it on overnight accidentally so it flickered in the background and I don't feel like I mean it's like 8 o'clock at night I really don't feel like fussing with fixing a light bulb so we're just gonna deal with it so we're not gonna have fun exciting changing background lights today but that is okay we are here to talk about my haul for February now it's a very humble haul and it's really not like makeup at all it's I'm very very pleased with myself that almost no makeup caught my eye this month um, there were times where I kind of built carts of stuff and then was like, I don't need anything. And then just kind of X'd out at the website and was like, mm, well, there's that. So the things that I splurge on are things that I never normally splurge on. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of myself for that and not really bringing any like makeup cosmetics into my, into my life. So we're just going to start from what I brought in first and trickle down to my re most recent purchase. And that's going to be that. And then we're going to just talk numbers very briefly. So the first item that we brought into my collection is actually like a bundle or like a set of things. So I ended up, I, you guys have not seen, I've, one of them broke off the other or like a couple days ago but it's neither here nor there i've been really um enjoying my like fake claws my bad bee nails um this hand looks so much better because they're all still on um i was cleaning and this one popped off i jammed it in a drawer it was very painful it was not fun but long story short we have nine long nails one nub but i've been really into these like poly gel do at home nail like extensions they're so much fun. They're so much fun. I've never had long nails like this. And this is honestly just, it's been really, really enjoyable having them. Um, yeah. And I think this guy, I ended up buying a, I, I went on like a binge, like two weekends worth of like, all I did was watch nail tutorials on YouTube, like nothing else. And I was like, I could do that. I have, I have everything at home except for like the extension gel, but everything else I have at home. So I could totally do this. So I ended up getting nail extension gel. This is um, poly gel is what it's called. And it comes in like these opaque black tubes. Um, I've only opened one tube because I'm trying to be responsible and open one at a time and not go crazy. So I opened up like a magenta one. And I mean, it is what I have on my nails, but it's so trans, like it's a, it's the jelly version. So they're all like very transparent and see-through. Um, but this set came with this. Six, one, two, three, yeah, six of these poly gel things. Um, oops, one of them's gone. Yeah, six different shades of very translucent colors with like a very soft hint of a color. I thought that these would be fun. I could wear them just kind of as is with like the glitter as the tip or put my own gel polish on top of them for just like something different, just something different. So I really enjoy these. It also came with some of like the nail extensions, some like a gel top and base coat. And yeah, I'm, I've been really enjoying this and I foresee myself getting a lot more use in these. Um, especially since I'm super new at doing it, I have a feeling I'm going to go through these relatively quickly because I've had to like redo a nail here and there, like almost every week because I'm very new at this. So it's, it's, there's a learning curve to it, but I'm, I'm excited. I like these. They're fun. I, I can do this and I really enjoy it. It also makes opening things so difficult, so unbelievably difficult, but it's just the struggle that I'm going to have to deal with right now um, for the time being with these. Um, but yeah, there is that. That is the first purchase is this like gel nail extension kit and I really enjoy it so far. Next purchase was the same lines. I actually bought like a little desk vacuum. It's like super cute. I'm not counting that towards like my beauty spending, but I ended up buying like a de like a mini chargeable desk vacuum for like pencil shreddings and like when I'm doing my nails so I can like 
wipe up things and even like when I do my makeup I get makeup all over my desk and having like a little handheld desk thing is very useful however long tangent not I'm not counting it in my makeup purchases I ended up buying another one of these poly gels this is in a clear and I thought this would be nice for when I'm doing this like this type of manicure where ooh, I have the gel or the glitter inside uh like encapsulated into the gel polish so I could put the this and then put like a very translucent soft like other color base coat underneath it and lock it into place so that is kind of why I grabbed this guy and again it's clear so I can paint on top of it and it's not going to be an issue but yeah then the last purchase yes I only made three purchases in the month of February and I mean it's the shortest month but I also have been so kind of like over makeup releases so I've been like proud of myself in that regards but I ended up I was thinking about like just buying another shampoo because I'm almost out of my current shampoo I only have maybe three or four washes left so I was like maybe I should buy a shampoo and then I th told myself like no just wait till they have a sale and then you can buy your shampoo and then Ulta read my mind Ulta was like we heard you here's a little discount for you so I ended up picking up my shampoo on a discount because they did a $15 off a $75 purchase and y'all know I well maybe I don't I don't know if you know but I only buy the large sizes of shampoo and it lasts me an entire year like I don't have to buy shampoo again until this time next year um possibly even I might be able to wait until April because I'm still again still not done with my current shampoo but I ended up picking up the Pureology Pure Volume Shampoo. Um, I tested this. I You would have seen me talk about this kind of shampoo in my tri my empties video. Um, I tried a sample of it, and I, I love Pureology hair care products. They are my favorite hair care brand. Um, this shampoo smells very, very lovely. It has the thing on it. I'm not going to be able to smell it. I don't know why I did that, but... This shampoo did smell really, really lovely when I used the sample size of it, and I am very excited. I Again, I really love Pureology. They don't have sulfates, and they are a cruelty-free a cruelty -free brand, so I don't mind supporting them. This is a very expensive shampoo. It is $69 alone, um, so I don't recommend like going out and spending the money on it if you're not if you're not like sold on it, you know, I know I love this brand and I know this brand does great things for my hair. So I don't mind splurging the extra money on it. Um, but yeah, this it's not for everyone. I really love Pureology. So that's long tangent. If you are curious, you can find the shampoo sometimes at Marshall's for a discounted price or just like the trial size ones. Um, but yeah. And as I said, it was $15 off a $75 purchase and six, since this was only $69 I ended up saying like okay well I can either spend the whole $69 or or I can just grab another very small product and get the threshold and then save money essentially like I paid less for two items than I would have paid for just the one item so I feel like I made out like a bandit. So I ended up picking up the NYX High Glass Face Primer. Um, this was actually on sale. This was half off. This normally retails for $17, which I think is actually extremely expensive for like the packaging and everything. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is a dupe for the Becca for backlight priming filter. I don't know. I have never tried the NYX High Glass one, but I mean, this is double, yes, the cost of like this guy when it's full price, but I can always, not anytime soon, because I've, as all we know, or as we all know, Becca is no longer going to be a company. I would typically find them on the 21 Days of Beauty, so I would only basically pay $19 for those. So $2 more, and I get like a luxe experience versus like this. Um, so I don't know if it's worth $17. It was definitely, I, I haven't even used it yet, but I think it was worth the $8 and 50 cents that I spent on it. So I am counting this as the full 850. I count this because I would, I only usually buy my shampoos on some sort of discount. I'm giving myself the full $15 off of this because that's just how I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. Um, it makes more sense to me. I would, I would pay eight fifty for this. I, I typically always buy my shampoos at some form of discount, whether it be like 
their jumbo sale at Ulta where they do like 20% off or 30% off their products or some dollar off per purchase, you know? But that is it. Not too many things entered my, my collection. Again, only one makeup item entered my collection this year, and that is a pretty amazing feat, in my opinion, for myself. I typically just, like, will pick up a couple products here and then, like, pick up a couple products there and just, like, not really feel guilty about it. And I'm really trying to be more mindful about my purchases. I finished a primer. I brought a primer in. Um, I can typically go through primers relatively quickly, so I'm not too concerned about this. But um, this month, I spent $113.98. So bringing my year-to-date total to $261.96. We're not double of what we've used up this year, but we definitely are like $100 over what we used up last year this pat this year so far. Um, I've only used up $160 worth of makeup and beauty products. So that could include like when I finish the next shampoo that would be included in this money. So um, I definitely need to rein my spending in. And I think since I've kind of made some of my purchases that are going to like occupy the big ticket items for a good while, um, I'm not going to really feel the need to spend my money on anything. I have been thinking about purchasing the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette that's releasing, but I'm really only interested in like four of the shades and I don't know if I can justify like a 12 pan palette for that. I think I'm just going to save my money and possibly buy either some Terra Moon shades or some Cleona shades once eventually down the line. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I really don't. Um, Terra Moon has definitely caught my eye. I have been fighting the urge to buy some of their pre-order like eyeshadows that they like their new bundles that they're releasing. But I put a couple of them in my cart and then I thought about it and I was like, I have so much eyeshadow. Why are you doing this to yourself? You are just like, you don't need them. Calm down, Laura. Calm down. So I've really been more mindful about my purchases. And when I am going to make a purchase, I tend to think about everything else that's going to get neglected because of that purchase, which has helped my mindset. Last year, it helped when I built a cart and then didn't purchase and instead like transferred that money into my savings. And this year I'm just trying to think about all of the things that I'm neglecting if I make a purchase. Um, this, I don't feel like I'm gonna neglect because I'm gonna try to get that Becca primer out and I go through face primers pretty quickly. They're a pretty manageable section of my makeup. And same thing with my shampoos. I buy one, lasts me 12 months and I'm good to go. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy, sane, and safe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.